Welcome back guys, Slowback in here, welcome to today's multiplayer battle. Last battle before we start and on our focus of trying to get good, so it'll be the Beastmen. I could do the Beastmen too, I don't know. No, I think, I think I'll stick with Greenskins just because obviously I enjoy the Greenskins more than any other race. And that'll be what our real focus is on, trying to get good. Are we getting good? Are we getting good yet? <laughs> oh dear. Alright, Beastmen, let's go. Captain Falcon. Falcon Enterprises, right, he's bad. Let's see what he picks. If we need shields, well, this is the build. If we don't need shields, we'll switch it up. Actually, I've got a bit of money to spend there too. Should I have I got the uh, speed buff spell? Who has that? He does. That's power reserves. That's just him. None of these guys have the speed buffy thing. No, I don't think so. No, okay. Well, we, well, we don't need armor pen versus these guys. I wonder if I should change those out for some dogs. They still can't actually catch them though, can they? Ah. Uh, nah. Been using this build for so long. I'll stick with it. Yeah, we definitely want shields though. Uh, I don't have any anti large. There's anti infantry. Oh, I've got the gorbals. Got the gorbals, that's fine. Alright, let's rank these boys up a wee bit. Yeah, okay, what's the map? No, that's not a new one. Okay, awesome. Right, let's go. Let's go, boys. Right. Are they anti large as well? I don't actually think they are. Oh, doesn't matter. These are as fast as Wild Riders, right? Or are they? I think they're basically the same speed. Well, one might be 95 and one's 90, something like that. Obviously, we can't catch them regardless. I'll see if he's going to bring the Flying Lord and stuff. We could do a Wood Elf. Um, focus in on the Wood Elves, because Wood Elves are so strong at the moment. Just with their buffs or that range stuff. Yeah, we could do Wood Elves. I think Greenskins is probably better. Ah, oh, maybe Wood Elves. I do enjoy playing the Wood Elves, actually. I'll think about it. I'll have a think about it. Right, so he gets that lovely hill position with those trees. That's actually going to be really good for him. We fight there. Which we have to, because he's going to determine where we fight, right? Right up. Just interweave these. How many troops has he got? 600. Okay. Oh, we don't have a lot of magic to start with, which is a bit unfortunate. Uh, put these over that side, the piggies. And you guys can come to the side. Oh, we're lagged. We've lagged. Funnily enough, I can still group them, but that's all. There we go. Ah, he's dropped. Okay. That's unfortunate. Yeah. She's so good. She's so powerful. Arguably one of the better lords in the game at the moment. As long as you use her correctly, of course. Don't chuck her into melee and try melee anybody. Just ping them away from range. And of course she's got her net there as well. And unfortunately there's no real way to uh, like catch her, eh? 
because she's as fast as anybody. Nope, that person didn't want to play either. Okay. Really? Don't die on me for the last match. Don't die on me. Out of match, yeah, get in. Ah, it's Captain Falcon again. No, did he hold F4 then? Oh, maybe, I don't know. Well, we're not changing anything, because he'll go the same. Oh, no, he's not. Okay. There's still armor pin. I'll knock that off. See, why can't I have three gobbles? I can if I do that. That's weird, isn't it? <coughs> excuse me. <coughs> Double excuse me. Okay. Let's try and make these as cheap as possible. <coughs> How I don't need to large. Oh, I do want a chariot. Couple of piggies. And then we'll rank those, eh? Yep. Right. That's a lot of boars. Lots of balls and borers. Lots of balls and borers. See if we can run over them. We've got like no infantry at all. <laughs> like no infantry, my god. Okay. Of course, he's going to have artillery because he's a dwarf. I'll be camping that hill. She might leave a bit of a gap there, eh? He's got the same as me. I've got seven less. Okay. Yeah, I assume he's on that hill. Scorbo's going to have to do a lot of... Actually, that's a lot of armor piercing I've got, isn't it? Shit, yeah, it's a lot. Okay. Well, I mean, it is dwarf, so... Might as well. I don't know if these guys with shields is worth it. Depends how much range he brings, I guess. Clove and one. That's right. Where you set up, my man? Oh, over in that corner. Okay. So I've got three artillery. Awesome. Three artillery, two ranged. Not much in the way of um, infantry, though. Yeah, that thing's going to be annoying. Yep. 
Yep, we just have to go for it. I can't sit back. Shooting my infantry, not my lords. It's a good start. Stop walking, you guys. Where's he got? Angram. Okay. Is there a runesmith? Uh, not that I can see. I need to take out these artillery though. Girl is. She's there almost hit it at the perfect timing, didn't it? Nice. Check, keep pushing. Bring Ungram down. Try and push through onto this one. If we can't. Angram's taking a hiding. Bring him down. Come on, chariot and stuff. Push her onto the range. Back in you, boys. Oh, nice. On the slayers, too. That's a good pickup. Nice. Cloven, one. Cloven ones. I should go for um, what's the face, Ungram. Yeah, Ungram just got smashed. Because for whatever reason, Ungram doesn't have um, anti-large. For some reason, I'm not really sure why. Here's the Slayer King. You'd think you'd have anti-large, right? Well, it kind of worked. A lot of Lord Killing power in there. He didn't bring a Runesmith either. Awesome. All right, guys. That is the end of this multiplayer video. Hopefully, you guys have enjoyed it. Thanks for watching, and we will see you next time.